Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am doing the unboxing and review of the Cubo Car Dashcam Pro with GPS. I bought this product for 3900 from Amazon sale recently and today I will be doing the unboxing, set the product up in my car and also I will give you a review of the same. As you guys can see this is the box package of the Cubo Smart Dashcam Pro with GPS. This product was available on Amazon and I'll be giving the link in the description. This is actually made by Hero Motor Crop, the Hero Group actually. And I've also bought the Samsung SD card for this. This is the QR code to download the app. This is the dash cams adapter which we will be connecting it to the car in the later part of the video. And also this is the actual dash cam itself. It is present in this plastic pouch. So this is the lens or the camera of the dash cam and this is the double sided tape or the sticker which is present using which you can attach it or stick it on the inner side of the car windshield and also you have to attach it on the side of the windshield in such a way that it, the camera has to be facing the road then only it will be useful. This is the power button of the camera and here is our SD card slot, the micro SD card slot. And there is this small reset button which is present. As you guys can see, it mentions GPS. That means it has its own GPS, uh, you know, sensor which is present. And this is the speaker by which it will tell whether it is on or recording. And on the lower part of the box, we have another item that is present which looks like some kind of tool. This is like a spatula. This is actually helpful in order to tuck the wires inside your car. There is this another pair of 3M sticker which is present in case you attach it um, you know, wrongly on your windshield. You can use this sticker uh, as a replacement or an alternative. This is a very long length wire which is present which will be very helpful in order to connect it. This is the Samsung uh, memory card or SD card which I have bought 256 GB. There are only few kinds of SD card which supports and it supports high endurance based class 10 based SD cards only. Uh, I'll be giving the link of this product also in the description. So this is the class 10 Samsung Evo plus 256GB uh, micro SD card and this is the Cubo dashcam itself and you can take the micro SD card and you can check for the symbol that is present on the dash cam and insert the micro SD card into the dash cam and this is very helpful in order to store the data. The dash cam also has auto erase functionality. It keeps recording right after the car will be started. So you can use the QR code scanner on your app in order to download this Cubo Pro app on your smartphone and you have to create a Cubo account or an account with the Hero Motor Corp group. This is the Cubo's app uh, which is actually handled by Hero Motor Corp. Account has to be uh, you know created in their system and you can log in. These are certain features which is present. It has support of 1080p or full HD video recording. It has very good low light performance, a wide angle view and also it has uh, high speed indicators. If you are going above like 80 kilometers per hour, it says you are driving fast, something like that. Now I am setting up the Cubo dash cam inside my Kia car. So what I have done is I've already connected the adapter into this uh, lighter socket that is present in our car. So this is uh, how I have connected and I have also connected another uh, micro USB slot to inside of the dash cam. And now uh, what I will do is I will actually go ahead and set up this dash cam inside my car using the app. So you have to select the Cubo dash cam pro GPS inside the app and you have to just click on S for the instructions that is given over there. After pressing the power button, a red light will start blinking and you have to use the hotspot based system. So you have to open the Wi-Fi and when you uh, turn on the Wi-Fi, there will be a Cubo dash cam will be present over there and enter the initial password. Initial password is 1234567 and then you have to enable the location services. When you enable the location services, the Cubo dash cam uh, will start uh, scanning for the device and it will be instantly found. The setup process is actually pretty simple. It is actually straightforward. Uh, I'm just showing 
uh, as a part of the explanation for this video and once you have clicked on connect it will be connected to your device and for the first time when you connect to your device it will do a sd card reset actually because it will have to format the sd card then only the sd card can start saving the new recordings or new data onto the uh, sd card from the camera So as you guys saw, uh, the SD card got formatted and the recording got started. Now is the most important step of the entire process that is to use your viewfinder that is present in the Cubo app and check at what angle you have to place the camera actually. So based on that specific angle, you can place your dash cam behind the windscreen uh, or the windshield. Uh, you can place it below the fast tag or on the right side of the fast tag. But in my case, I am placing it uh, on the left side of the fast tag because it was convenient for me. And I properly attached the dash cam or fixed the dash cam on my windshield. Before fixing it, I had to wipe the inner side of that dash cam because uh, if there is any dust behind the lens, it will not give a clearer view. And also there was some dust on my windshield on the outer side. So I used the fluid of the wiper and also uh, some water to clean the windshield. Now what I'm doing is I'm using this spatula in order to tuck in the long length cable or the wire that is coming out of the dash cam. It doesn't look good if there is a lot of wires and it will be kind of distracting if there are too many wires uh, while you are driving. So you can use this spatula in order to tuck the wires behind the windshield or behind the plastic casing that is present in your car and bring it below this glove box. And then this is how it is connected to my uh, lighter socket. The entire system has been set up in a very nicer way. Started. It will be easier if you use a helping hand in this process. If someone is there with you, you can take their help in order to set up the entire application. You can use the viewfinder to see what is the best angle for the camera to be set up. As I showed you, another important process is to tuck in the entire wire, the long length wire behind the casing of the windshield and take it below the glove box so that the wires will not be tangling and it will not disturb your driving view. Overall, my experience of using the Cubo dash cam is very good. I've been using the dash cam for almost 10-15 days now and I have really liked the product. One of the important factors that I liked is it can be used as a vlogging tool actually and you can download the videos directly from the Cubo app directly to your phone's local storage. So that is how I was able to export the videos from the Cubo dash cam and I have added it to this video timeline. Overall, it has a very good uh, video quality. The Full HD 1080p video recording is fantastic. In the same dash cam, there is a 4K dash cam also which is present, which costs around 10 or 11,000 rupees. But this was more than enough for me. So that's why I went with the 1080p or Full HD dash cam. It has very good low light video recording performance. It has a very wide angle view. It has the GPS logging feature. It is a GPS logger, but not a tracker. You cannot track the real time location of your car. It is just a logger of GPS. That means it will show what coordinates the specific video was recorded. It will not track the GPS in real time. And the app, as I showed you, is very good and very user friendly. It has a very nicely organized video gallery. It also has the important tools that is present inside this box, like the pry tool, adhesive double sided tape, and also this 3.5 meter mini USB cable. Another important factor that I liked about this dash cam is it will keep giving you warnings or beeps. When you reach uh, above 80 kilometers per hour, it will tell uh, you are going above the speed limit. Whenever the car faces any kind of jolt or sudden jerks or something, the dash cam records that as a separate 
tab or a separate category of video like jolt detected this dash cam has been made with indian road conditions and indian traffic mentality in mind dash cam becomes a very important factor because it becomes a great proof for you for accident claims or something like that and also it will be helpful as a complete vlogging tool you can use 1080p footage from this dash cam and put it in your vlogs it will be very helpful and also this is helpful for insurance claims as well uh, and also it will be helpful for fake accusation from traffic police against incorrect challenge or something for all these purposes you can use a dash cam and this has become like a very important tool which is a must inside our car so that is pretty much it for my unboxing and review of the cubo car dash cam pro with gps i have left the product link in the description so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching subscribe to the channel